Hi, I'm Mike from Technotool, and today I'll be showing you how to install the DVR remote to your DVR lathe using the Retrofit Kit. I'm installing the remote to the DVR XP lathe, but it can be fitted to all DVR lathes, including the DVR 3000. To do this, you will need the following items and tools. A remote, a Retrofit Kit, and a Phillips screwdriver. Now I'm going to unpack the remote and the retrofit kit. In the remote kit, you should have the remote, a manual, and a receiver. In the retrofit kit, we should have a manual for the control panel and the control panel. The first thing we must do is make sure the power is off. Turn the power off. and then pull the plug from the outlet. <laughs> For safety reasons, it's best to wait about five minutes to allow the system to fully discharge. Using the screwdriver, I'm going to loosen the screws a little bit, not taking them all the way out, to remove the control panel. Now I'm going to pull the control panel from the head and I'm going to remove the flat ribbon cable. Okay. Now I'm going to remove this control panel here and put it here. And from my current control panel I'm going to remove the keyboard ribbon cable, the LCD flat ribbon cable, and now I'm going to remove the two screws and move the board over to the new panel. Now I'm going to put the screws in the panel that I'm moving over here. Try not to screw them too tight. Just snug them up. Now I'm going to install the receiver from my retrofit kit receiver and I'm going to put it onto the connector that the keyboard connector was originally on. Then I take the original keyboard ribbon cable and plug it onto the connector on top of the receiver.
Then I'm going to take the cable for the LCD, plug it into the board. And then last but least, the flat ribbon cable to the receiver. Now that my control panel is reassembled, I'm going to turn the receiver on using this button right here, the little white button. I'm going to push it, hold it for about three seconds. One more time just to make sure. Now I'm going to take the control panel connect the flat ribbon cable back to the socket here and don't worry it only goes on one way and now I'm going to reattach the control panel back to the head Gently tighten the screws. Not too tight. Now we can plug the lathe back into the outlet turn the power on, allow it to power up, get this on, and we have power. You are now wireless enabled. <laughs>